Hey what's up guys, it's that Indian kid and do you know everything that's going inside your smartphone? I suppose not and so I have created this series to help you guys know more about your phone. In this series I will make a bunch of videos about the most primary components that keeps a smartphone up and running. The components like a screen, a CPU and a chipset, the camera and the operating system. I hope I can clarify at least a few doubts that you get regarding all the hardware inside a smartphone. So what do I plan to call this series? Know your smartphone. Episode 1 The CPU, the chipset and the GPU In this video we will talk about three main things. An SOC, also known as a system on chip, a CPU and a GPU. Let's start off with an SOC. I'm sure you must have heard of the names Exynos 8890, Qualcomm Snapdragon 820's SoC, Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 SoC. So what does the term SoC mean in there? SoC also known as the system on chip is a circuit that combines all their primary components of a computer into a single chip. Think of a CPU, a graphics card, a memory chip controller and every other component in the book put under one single chip. Handset manufacturers simply drop this chip straight away, rather than having to implement the CPU, the GPU and every other component one by one. Some famous SoC manufacturers are Qualcomm, MediaTek and Nvidia. Qualcomm is known to fit in all the components inside their SoC in the best possible manner. Whereas NVIDIA is known to put more cores and sort of ignore the other components. And that may be a reason a lot of phone manufacturers go with Qualcomm. Speaking of CPUs, some of you quite possibly may be oblivious to the term cores. So what does it exactly mean? A processor has cores. They are made to perform tasks. One core means one task and the quad core means four tasks at one time. The NVIDIA Tegra 3 was famous for its 12-core technology, but it lacked a lot of features. So who makes the CPU? You might be thinking it's possibly Intel or AMD. The CPU manufacturing companies for your average PC. But no. Just like Intel and AMD, ARM is a 32-bit microprocessor created by Acon Computers in 1987. Since then, ARM has been the preferred microchip by any and all companies looking for a cheap and low-powered chip for portable devices. ARM uses a completely different architecture as compared to Intel and AMD, who've stuck to x86 architecture. With the help of ARM, some very popular designs have come to life, such as the ARM V7, ARM9, ARM11, Cortex A8, Cortex A9, and the most recent Cortex A15. Samsung, Apple, Nvidia, Texas Instruments all have taken use of the ARM. This leaves us to our final topic. What does a GPU do? Well, a GPU does a lot more than just gaming, unlike a PC. Android heavily relies on a GPU because of the animations it performs, all the swiping gestures and pop-ups require a lot of rendering power, and the CPU itself can't provide all that. It also helps watching HD videos. A graphics chip has more cores than a CPU so that it can provide its own power for rendering, and that leaves the CPU free for its own tasks. As I said, the Tegra 3 is a great example, as it's got 12 whopping cores. So you might have heard of these names. Qualcomm Adreno, Imagination Power VR, and NVIDIA. They're all producers of GPUs. All this makes a chipset on your phone, and this is how the internals function. I hope I helped, and if I did, stay tuned for next week, when I upload a video on the rest of the topics. Once again, you were watching Know Your Phone, and this is That Indian Kid signing out. Subscribe, and have a wonderful day.